Today we're going to be working with um, end cloths, and we're going to try and create a sort of a shattered panel plane sort of a look. We're going to start by creating just a regular plane, 24 by 24 across the origin. We're going to put subdivision width up to 25 and subdivision height up to 25. And then I'm going to select all the vertices on this, hold right click, go to vertex, select all the vertices, go to our polygons menu, go to edit mesh, detach component, then we're going to go to object mode, select the object, and go back to our end dynamics menu. Go to end mesh, and create end cloth. And we're going to go to nucleus here, and we're going to change gravity to zero for this scene. And then we're going to create a sphere. Hold down shift and X. And then we're going to go to end mesh, create passive collider. And we're going to move this actually below the plane. We're going to go to fields, gravity, and we'll change gravity from 9.8 meters a second to negative 9.8 meters per second per second. And then if we play this through, we see that we get a pretty nice collision here. So now we want to set it up for rendering. We're going to first attach a material to this one, hold down right click, assign new material. We'll do a MIA material X. The reason we're doing an X is because it has all these presets if we decide that we want to use one of them. But for now we're just going to set it to white. And this will assign a new material, MIA material X, and we'll just set this one to black. And we'll play it through to a frame that we like. Uh, that looks good for me, and then I will render it. And you notice I don't get anything here. I have to use the mental ray renderer. And if mental ray does not show up in that list, you go to Window, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, and you're going to look for myatomer.mll. And it might actually be located in this long list of plugin plugins right here. And just set that so that it's loaded. Then we're going to go to our render settings, quality, we're going to put it up to production indirect lighting and we'll create physical sun and sky and this will give us some nice generic lighting for our scene and we'll see that's a pretty nice effect right here I'll up the resolution a little bit so we can see it better and you'll see we get nice reflection right off here off the panels that haven't been touched. They still look like a solid object. And then these ones that have, you can see the seam on them right where it breaks off. And if you're looking really close, you can see that they kind of go, one goes into the other one there and a little bit right there and there. You'll notice a couple spots elsewhere it does that over here. But really during an animation, people aren't going to be able to tell. So it'll still look fine. Um, we're going to try and add a little bit of a thickness to our planes here now. So we're going to select our object and we're going to hit extrude. I have mine set to have a thickness of 0.05. I'm going to set that down to 0. And then I'm going to move it just up a little bit. Let's put it up to 0 0.05. Okay. And then we'll play that through. And you see we'll get a, I'll lower my resolution again here, down to a 1K square, what do you, 512 by 512. You see we'll get a similar look, but our, panicle, our panels are actually three-dimensional now, they actually have a thickness to them now. So if we were to look at them directly on from the side, then we could see that they're not just a single polygon, they're actually six polygons. Maya might read it actually as possibly more than that. It might try and bend it where it doesn't have edges. But basically that's going to give us a little bit of a better look for this. And end cloths are really great. That's just how we create a shattered plane. Um, I'll, I'll do another video that shows how to do an end, end cloth such as a tablecloth or a shirt or something like that. Um, that's all for this one.